just met a boy, just met a boy when he took on the side of my play pen Cause he looks like a superstar in the making So I think I'm gonna go in for the taking He threw the grapevine that he caking We could shoot a movie, he could do the taping Boom, boom, pow, this thing be shaking I ain't even trying to find out who we dating Cause I know he got a wife at home But I need just one night alone If I keep playing them kidding games I'ma run away, run away I, I wanna give you one last option I, I wanna give you one last chance Today I'm here to review the new Maybelline Brow Drama. This is the first product from the drugstore like this. Um, it is supposed to be a sculpting brow mascara. So it's supposed to give your brows some color while also uh, setting them and keeping them in place. So what I'm going to do today is I'm going to fill in one of my eyebrows and leave the other one blank. And I'm going to zoom in and show you what it does on top of an already done brow and just for the natural brow to see if it kind of helps fill it in a little bit. So this is kind of going to be a first impression slash review of this product and we will see how we like it. So keep on watching and we will figure this out together. Alright guys, so as you can see I already put this brow on like normal and then this is just a natural brow a week but we're going to try this guy out now so this is what the packaging looks like um, I've never tried this before obviously so see how it goes it kind of has the packaging that all Maybelline like the great lash mascaras have it's just black all right so I think first I'm gonna do this eyebrow that has nothing on it it's got a weird little ball at the end of it so we're going to go ahead and Try this out. There. Since it's new, I think the product is still kind of like, it's not quite filling the brush. It's kind of sparse, so. That's why I'm going over it so many times. Alright, so that is the finished result just on a natural brow. I don't think it looks too bad. I mean, if I'm just like not going anywhere special and I just wanted to add a little bit of color to my brow real fast just to comb it through, I think that looks pretty good. As you can see, how I like to normally wear my brows is a lot more defined and more filled in. So um, if I'm going somewhere special, obviously this isn't going to be enough coverage for me, but I think I like it so far as just um, kind of a throw on product. It's definitely better than plain brows. So now I'm going to try it to kind of set this brow. Mm. <laughs> I think I like it a lot better on this brow actually. Um, I don't know if you guys can see, but on this brow, it kind of clumped it up a little bit. And underneath where I have my dip brow pomade, it kind of um, smudged the product or like the other product I had on my eyebrow around. But this is also not really made to set the eyebrow, I guess. Just like it says it's supposed to give it the color. So, you know, the more I'm building the color up on this eyebrow, the more I'm just really liking it for more of a natural look. Um, so that would be my personal opinion on this product. I think I would go for, if I'm just running out the door, don't have time to put my eyebrows on the way I like them, just run this through. It does give you a decent amount of color. This color matches my brows perfectly and it does sort of comb them into place. You can completely um, skip the step of taking your spoolie and combing through your eyebrows because this does it for you. All right, so I'm gonna go wipe this brow off and put my normal brow back on so I don't have mismatched brows. And then I'm gonna put this on top of it, try it out again real quick, and then I will come back and give you my final thoughts. All right, guys, so I put my other eyebrow back on and I do want to mention that if you put this on to run out the door and then wanna put your eyebrows on later, wash your eyebrow because I just put my regular product which um, I actually didn't tell you guys what I use. I use the Anastasia Dip Brow Pomade 
um, on the outside and then I used the brow powder duo which looks like this I'll just show you just in case you haven't seen it before so this is what the duo looks like and then the pomade kind of looks like a gel liner so I think it's basically what it is so um, I used those two products together and it was so hard to put it on with uh, this product already in my brow I mean I did kind of pile this product on and layer and layer it so when I went to go put these on it kind of caked up and like my brow my brush was like dragging through my brows so if you do use this use it after because if you use it before it is it does not work out so my final review on this product would be great product to use if you have fuller brows and you just need a little bit of color and a little bit of hold or if you don't have time to actually put your brows on but you need a little bit of color because you just can't go out without it you know or women that's what we do i just it's not my favorite for just setting the brow um it kind of smudged it so if you use a lot of product on your brow this smudged mine maybe it won't do that for you let me know in the down box below if you've tried this and what you think of it and kind of how you like to use it and um i'd love to hear your thoughts so thank you guys so much for watching this video i hope you found it helpful and you know if you want to subscribe while you're here you know i wouldn't be mad